Hello, hello, and welcome back to Burrows. So I guess we're gonna run out, do things. I've forgotten the directions already. Sorry, I got sick in between recording sessions. I probably still am sick. I'll cough a lot in this video. I hope that's okay. It's, it's fine, right? Oh, we slowly, tr yeah, we slowly trot out into the hallway. It takes me some time to sync up to his faster pa uh, walking pace, but soon we're moving as a unit. He clears his throat, and I brace myself to start picking apart German again. <laughs> Hero, come on. <laughs> Hero, please. Shit, there's nothing in that sentence I can parse. I gently grasp his hand and... Uh, in mine, yes, and stick my pointer finger out, uh, nodding for him to mimic me. He picks up on it and turns us around, uh, pointing at what seems like a dead end. Huh? He sucked his, uh, sucked his teeth and uh, pulls us in that direction, gesturing towards a crack on the wall. Still not getting it, he holds his hand around his head, oh, wincing in pain. Of uh, fighting through it, uh, he takes, yeah, he turns his palm t uh, down towards, down, downwards, with his fingers pointing outward. Uh, he then pushes down slowly, uh, making little uh, ticking sounds with his tongue. That's an elevator. I'm not used to having those door. Wait, I'm used to those having doors. Sorry. Uh, he nods and smiles. Uh, happy, I figured it out. No more lifting your arms, though, okay? You're only going to hurt yourself more. Okay. He nods again, and we step onto the platform. He twirls his finger counterclockwise, signaling which way I need to turn the crank. Here goes nothing. I place, his, I place him against the wall and give it a jerk, and needing both hands to really get into it. As soon, I hear the gears start to uh, grind against each other, and the floor cre creaks. Wait. Oh, okay. But before I realize it, uh, the platform falls. I can feel my uh, <laughs> my balls in my stomach as we uh, careen ten feet down before it abruptly stops. The safety on the wall gives us a around us uh, give way to naked beams and girders and Hero leaps forward just in time landing flat on his stomach that one is universal sorry little guy I'm sorry I didn't know as I help him up I real I suddenly realize we're suspended in midair without any protection uh, the instinctual fear uh, takes hold of me again, and I sit perfectly still in the middle of the platform. I feel Hero wrap a hand around my waist, hugging me tightly. Th thanks He smiles, pointing to the tiny illustration emblazoned on the metal panel underneath the crank. Though the text is in German, there are a few crudely drawn stick figures depicting safety measures. I see. So the platform only lowers us as many times as you turn the crank. That explains why we fell so fast. I rotated the crank, the, the bevel too fast, and the locking mechanism couldn't keep up. We go slow. He emphasized, he emphasized on the last word, uh, uh, told me all I needed to know. After collecting myself, I turned the crank one quarter at a time. It took about uh, two minutes to reach the bottom, but it was still much faster and safer than those rickety stairs. Uh, click? No. We just go. We just wait. We, we do thing. Uh, I mean, I hear noise. Gamo. Okay. <laughs> As we step off the platform, a couple of other workers rush over to us, clearly concerned. <laughs> yep, they they do be talking. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> I mean, it's funny just kind of seeing Hero react, you know? It's, I mean, I can't read any of this bullshit. You think I... I don't even know one language, let alone, like, 87. I have to assume they're at least concerned. It's hard to tell with Germans. From what I remember of the of the ones who visited father's workshop they seemed very cold maybe that's just a maybe that's just a affluent people is that how i come off to people back then hero tugs my shirt to continue and i wave the workers off as we headed towards the exit a few more people wave to us as we walk by i guess hero gets more friends here uh, wait hero's got more friends here than just fritz if you can even call that a friendship once we're out of earshot, I hear a hero giggle to himself. What's so funny, hero? He apologizes in advance, so I assume more Japanese is coming my way. <laughs> uh huh. I uh, try in English. Uh, German's compliment is like. He pauses to. Th yeah, he pauses to think, and then looks at me, uh, smiling sarcastically. Mother-in-law's blessing. <laughs> uh, talk about an, ex uh, an experience that transcends borders. A hero's a funny guy uh, when he wants to be. Uh, we'll get him to, uh, nursed back to health in no time. Then, I'll take all the time we need to learn to communicate. Uh, surely there's more English speakers where we're going, right? Where is here, anyway? The light from the exit is blinding compared to the dark and dingy warehouse, but I can hear the sounds of nature amongst general chatter. Before we exit, I turn back to see what exactly the monstrosity we were we were on was. Blimpu. Is that a zeppelin? From this far away, it's not nearly as intimidating. I always admired them, as a child. I was so disappointed when Father pulled out of that deal. He brought me back a little tin replica of what was the uh, the final ship was supposed to look like. It was my favorite toy in the whole world. Far too precious to bring with me to the city. I bet it's still in my room, uh, hidden under that floorboard. My nostalgia is interrupted by someone yelling, in English, no less. No, no! Christ Almighty, I see why he was so hesitant to work with... Cro Krauts? Krauts? That voice. No, it's been too long. Gray? Come. R right. We headed down the, di the dirt path. I repeated Fritz's instructions over and over uh, until it became a rhythmic chant. The area surrounding the warehouse can only be described as wilderness. We situ uh, we're situated in a wide open valley beside a lake with dense fo uh, dense woodland surrounding the perimeter. We passed some white tents set up next to the giant stacks of wooden crates and raw material. It's a sight I'm all too familiar with. I hear the voice from before uh, emanating now. Uh, emanating out of one of the tents as we pass by. Something gets slammed, and I, I yelp. I don't care if your uh, fella turns up dead. You will find him. B but We need uh, whoever the original designer of those, uh, those here blueprints was. It ain't negotiable. Or do I need to remind you who's funnin' this little project to begin with? No, sir. You're you're right. I shall ask her Hans about it. Dandy. Now, go grab me a. Wait, grab me a pile cerner. Pill pilzerner. No, okay. It's about all you've got a good for, but all you're good for anyway. God, it's so familiar. A sweaty polecat rushes out of the tent and runs past us, uh, clutching some papers under his arm. I can briefly see inside the tent as the flop uh, hangs open. Flap? Not flop. Whatever. The face is obscured, but even from just the body, he reminds me so much of Sam's father. 
Oh, that was that was a thing, wasn't it? Uh, mm. A chill runs up my spine. It's impossible. Bear. <laughs> Uh, I heard the I heard he died of complications a few years back. Uh, some kind of uh, complications with his kidneys. There's no time for this. We have a long journey ahead of us. Well, I I, I want that out of the way. Okay, let's uh, get, 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 get a, a scroll a scroll over. Um, well, what what is what is this? Uh, yeah, oh, applicant. Yep. Okay. Ten. Okay. Yep. We're, we're good, we're good. I follow the dirt uh, path ahead from the com uh, from the compound, like Fritz at said. <laughs> oh, that looks really low on the levels here. I'll, um... There we go. Maybe you'll be able to hear the music now? Anyway. Uh, his instructions were deceptively simple. I mean, there's literally nothing else in any direction. I notice a few wagons parked outside the warehouse, but they'd only seat one or two people. Those must be for the higher-ups. I doubt they live in that so-called worker's dwelling. There's probably another path that leads back to a proper town Fritz neglected to tell us about. Would they refuse to treat Hero there as well? Uh, would the What the hell has happened to society? We reach a steep incline, and I place Hero in front of me. Uh, pushing him upwards as we walk to walk so he sit uh, so he doesn't stumble back. I keep my arms firmly planted on his lower waist to avoid putting any pressure on his chest. I was pretty distracted by everything going on in the golden place, but geez, this guy has some serious hips. I know foxes are curvy by nature, but combined with the uh, hero's uh, musculature, he could probably. Uh, crush my head like a watermelon between those thighs. Oh um, my. <laughs> okay, okay, Gray. Uh, why is that thought running on? Uh, why is that thought turning me on? Sorry, it's been a long day. I don't think he's, uh, uh, he'll. He'd feel me poking his tail, but I guess even fluffy tails get a uh, feel sensation. Shame washes over me. I really am trying to control myself. It feels like something else is at play. A strange sensation suddenly comes over me. Uh, some effort. Effervate. A vapor fills my body, and I feel lightheaded. My face becomes flushed, and my thoughts get cloudy. What is this? It's coming from Hero? Below the waist. Why do I want to... I'm practically drooling. <laughs> I want to... Gray? Oh my god. I look down and... And... Wait. I look down and see I'm uh, gripping his backside. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I... I pull my hands away in shame, uh, feeling sick to my stomach. Oh, what the fuck happened? I'm, uh, I'm not this base, am I? It's fine. H how? He holds his arm bashfully, looking off into the distance. It always this. Not great fault. I don't understand. He rolls his eyes again. I feel so low. I walk behind. Uh, okay, yes. Whatever you want, Hero. I'm here to help him. Remember that. I apologize again and take the lead, uh, letting him uh, letting him lean on my side as we continue towards the trees. Uh, talk about an awkward introduction. I've never felt that way before. Uh, the only thing similar uh, would have been a few... Uh, the few times me and Simone had drunk sex, and those memories were hazy to begin with. All I really remember was how hungover we were in the morning after. Huh. Uh, Simone. Edian. I'm coming home. Oh, once I figure out where we are. I'll apologize a million times. I'll do anything it takes. 
even if they never want to see my face again. I'm coming back. Soon we reach the fork uh, Fritz mentioned. It really is just a, a rudimentary dirt road. Uh, there aren't uh, there aren't even any signs of uh, markings to indicate what leads there, what leads where. Well, uh, he should he said to go right, so we're going right. A hero needs a hero nods, uh, confirming that uh, we're going the correct way. The path goes over a few more hills before we get to the edge of the forest. An autumnal, yes, a wash of red and orange colors for the environment. <clears throat> Before us, the sounds of nature are growing louder as we approach. Wait. I hear Le a hero lean against a tree and pick a particularly pretty leaf off the off the ground. That's strange. Oak trees are decid. De wait, deciduous. Uh, aren't they? These are uh, turning. These are already turning red. Yet the spring's hardly begun. Nothing about this is right. I don't remember uh, learning about uh, any trees native to the area that are red all year long. Come to think of it, uh, there's a dry chill to the air that's more indicative of autumn than spring. Could a significant amount of time had passed after we were sent from the Golden Place? My friends would have spent uh, the last seven or eight months searching for me, and have likely given up by now. Ha, I can't blame them if they did. I find myself weakly leaning against the tree. Uh, the bark pokes my, into my uh, flesh, and I hardly notice. H hey! It, not so bad, Gray. What do you know? It, don't cry. Easy for you to say. I hear him growl. As something hits me in the back of my head, a splitting into um, pieces upon impact. Hey! <laughs> okay, that's that's like one of Hero's best faces, right? Look, look at this. Look at the smile. Look at this grin. I turn around to see him wielding a, a second pine cone menacingly. A... <laughs> A slip of a smile poking through. If you cry, I cry. Then nothing get done. When we save, we cry. Being sad, okay. But not now. Right, sorry. Shit, sorry. I walk back over to help him, uh, brushing shards of pine cone off of my head. He shoots me a thousand dollar smile as we continue onward. Thank God I'm not alone. This whole ordeal is stressful enough. And it seems like communicating is getting easier. He must be a savant when it comes to learning languages to switch dialects so effortlessly. Even if his uh, German and English are rudimentary, it's enough to get, uh, get him this far. The Zeppelin company doesn't realize what a great asset they have under their belt. The uh, hero, uh, Fritz said to go straight ahead, no detours. Is that correct? He thinks for a moment before replying confidently. Yes, just one direction, no turn. It's a little hard to actually keep track of where we're going. There aren't any discernible landmarks, and the sky is completely uh, blocked out by the tree the treetops. I try to see if there are any obvious uh, walking paths or well-worn patches of dirt, but the ground is completely covered by dead leaves. Oh, that looks a little... The music now looks a little loud on the levels. I don't know. I never know what's allowed for music on the on these recordings and what isn't. It's it's a difficult life I live. <laughs> uh, he could have been more de... Wait, he could have uh, been more detailed. Fritz, he do his best. It's hard to explain. I nod. He was adamant. I don't stay. I don't stray from the path for a good reason. I'm sure of it. The terrain becomes uneven as we pass over a stretch of unearthed, yeah, unearthed uh, tree roots, opposed to perfectly trip as, wait, trip, an unsuspecting hiker. Uh, for each, I need to carefully guide Hero's legs to avoid miss, uh, misstep. Wait. 
misstimming uh, our steps. Okay. I don't. That, that, that word, word weird. I don't understand the sentence, but okay. And uh, tripping over each other. A hero? And can you get on my shoulders? It'll be faster. I tap my shoulders and lower myself, uh, nodding for him to climb on. He kicks some leaves, hesitant to get on. What? Would it hurt? D no. Just uh, feel like kid. Hero. It's not... I'm sure because of his height, he's often treated as a kid. I even made that blunder myself before. Well, you got something between those legs that aren't, uh, that aren't kid-sized, right? He growls again. I, I mean, uh, work with me here. He sighs, seemingly resigned to the situation. Okay. He awkwardly climbs onto my back, accidentally kicking me in the ribs with his boots as he pushes himself up my shoulders. Maybe not uh, accidentally after all. Uh, this guy. Uh, I slowly stand, making sure he stays balanced. Uh, he's thick, yes, but he couldn't weigh more than 70 pounds. His baggy clothes make him look look bigger than he, than he really is. This okay? He grunts in affirmation, and we continue forward. With this arrangement, he's able to uh, uh, warn me about trip hazards I'd, I'd have missed. We work as a team, some sort of Frankenstein creature with two sets of eyes. He grips my head with his, uh, with his thighs any time he, he wants me to stop and tap, and taps his boots on my chest when it's safe to keep going. Every now and then, traces of that feel for, from earlier poke through, but the smell of the sensation of the forest are too dis uh, distracting for me to really focus on it. The damp earth, the rotted leaves, I even smell dis uh, distant traces of a campfire coming from somewhere, but it's impossible to pinpoint. Here will occasionally rub my head and playfully tug at my ears. Uh, he's a curious fellow, uh, that's for sure. From everyone's reactions, I doubt there are any other possums in the area. I guess that makes us both outcasts. A twig snaps under my heel, and suddenly the leaves around us shiver like I've undone something. Alright, I think I'll end the part here, so I will see you around, everyone. <laughs>